The state's migrant relocation program is getting a revamping this week in Tallahassee. Yeah, lawmakers are considering repealing the previous program and creating a new one. This will allow the governor to move migrants to anywhere in the country. News Channel's Capitol Bureau reporter Libby Dean has more. Republicans rapidly pushing a new version of the state's migrant transportation program during this week's special session. Causing controversy from across the aisle, where Senator Jason Pizzo claims this special session was called because of a lawsuit he brought against the governor. The lawsuit claims the governor misused state funds to fly a group of migrants from Texas to Florida and on to Martha's Vineyard. This is the week of cleanup on aisle five, as one member, maybe on the other side of the aisle, said to me this week. Uh, we're cleaning up an immigration program that I think, uh, you know, tomorrow or the next day is going to be found to be unconstitutional. The bill carried by Tampa lawmaker Senator Blazingolia would move the program under Florida's Department of Emergency Management, allocating another $10 million to the relocation of unauthorized aliens from anywhere in the country, not just out of Florida. Why would we want to bring um, immigrants that are here that have been processed through a port of entry? Why would we want to bring them here and set them up to fail when we can send them to another jurisdiction, sanctuary cities, sanctuary states, who have already said that they're going to take care of them to me? That's just common sense. Lawmakers are currently wrapping up debate on this bill in the Senate chambers and are expected to vote on it later this evening, putting it one step closer to the governor's desk. Reporting from the Capitol, Libby Dean, 8 on your side.